This is Robert Plank from WebsiteRemote.com and let me show you how to control, manage, install, activate, and deactivate your WordPress plugins remotely whether you have 1, 10, or 100 sites. So this is a service called Website Remote and you can get your own access by going to www.WebsiteRemote.com. I think I said all three W's in there. WebsiteRemote.com. You go here, you get choose the plan you want, you log in, and when you log in you will be able to add our website remote plugin to all of your websites and that means a few things that means that you can see all of the WordPress updates that are in need of your site you can see all the plugins that need updating but you can also see a few other cool things you can see the exact plugins that you're running across all or some of your sites you can compare the plugins that are on your sites you can see just the plugins that are out of date or you can see all of the plugins on your site and you can do a few cool things with them. For example, if a plugin is a problem across many of your sites, maybe a Kismet plugin is causing issues, Contact Form plugin is causing issues, we can look at all of our websites, we can go and find that plugin in the in the column and then we can just go down the row and turn off for example a kismet on all of these sites so right here we can turn off a kismet on backup creator blog we can make sure it's off on incomemachine.com so we can remotely uh, not just see what versions of WordPress we have on our sites, see what kind of plugins we have on our sites, see what kind of themes we have on our sites, but we can also turn the plugins on or off and even add new plugins. For example, you could add a security plugin to all of your websites at once, and then if it was an issue, just go down the, down the list and turn them off, uh, or you can update all your sites at once or things like that. So uh, lots of cool things that you can do. And first of all, the, so the first thing I want to show you is that we have have a website remote uh, like I said you can update WordPress and the big reason for updating WordPress is because you don't want to get hacked you don't want to have an old broken version of WordPress running on your site but you also don't want to auto update or you don't want to update too soon because you don't know if the new version of WordPress has been untested or not or has been tested or not now the thing about WordPress is probably every I don't know month or so they find some new way that uh, some new hole in the security that someone could potentially use to get into your site and then they go and fix it okay so that's just one a month but the problem with WordPress plugins is that there's way more plugins on a site than just WordPress. You have, I mean, how many plugins are running on your own site? Maybe 10, 20, 30, or do you even know? Maybe even more. And every single one of those plugins might have a new uh, security hole in them. So if you ask me, I am like to be more on top of updating plugins themselves than the rest of WordPress. So like we said, you can, in Website Remote, what you do is you go to this screen, you type in the URL of the WordPress that you want to manage, you grab this plugin, and then install it onto your site. We have a, a written instructions and a video on how to do that. So that's that's something I don't want to, want to waste time on because there's lots of cooler stuff to get to. Because like we said, you can look at the plugins and you can see what plugins are on there and uh, click to update. For example, a bunch of different plugins all at once. You can turn the plugins on or off, or you can even add new plugins. So think about this. What if you were setting up 10 new sites and you wanted to make sure that all 10 sites had a specific theme, had a specific set of plugins? Well, now using Website Remote, we can uh, just go and click, click, click the plugins we want to add. We can click, click, click the WordPress sites you want to install those plugins on, then we can click on install plugins and it will go out and install the plugins and activate as well, install and activate the plugins we want to add on some or many or all of the sites that we choose. So let me show you for example here. Um, let me go to my front page of this, okay, and I'm going to select my one of my websites, just keep it simple, let's just change one website backupcreator.com slash blog okay I can see here's WordPress here's the theme and then here's all the plugins so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine plugins on here but I might say okay well I want to add um, a security plugin on on this site I want to add a uh, caching plugin maybe you want to add jetpack which is another cool plugin WordPress puts out so just those three things 
I don't want to have to log in, search a plugin, install it, search a plugin, install it, search a plugin, install it. I just want to do it all in one click. Well, let me log into backup creator slash blog so we can see what we're dealing with here. So we can go and once this page loads for us, just wait for the, I think Google's going kind of slow today. Okay, there we go. We can see we haven't updated this plugin in several years. That's okay. We're going to go to the dashboard over here and I just kind of want to see what plugins I have just to maybe even verify what website remote told me. Like we said, uh, just a handful of plugins, you know, just um, maybe, I don't know, eight, eight plugins or so. So we want to add these things like Jetpack, security plugin, and a caching plugin. What we do is in website remote, we can go plugins, add new, and you know by by default it shows the most popular plugins in WordPress but let me just say I want to install the Jetpack plug Jetpack plugin on my site sorry so here we go and we just say all right I don't want this Jetpack light I want actual Jetpack plugin that's in the list of plugins I now want to add I want to install a security plugin so let me see what's good uh, in WordPress, so we got WordFence, Bulletproof, let's choose this one. So now we've got a security plugin as well. And then we said we wanted a caching plugin. So let me search cache. And I think we'll just grab this W3 total cache. Okay, so we've chosen three plugins. And like we said, we could have chosen 10 or 100. We're just going to choose one site to keep it simple. Like I said, we could choose 10 or 100 sites as well. So we're going to install three plugins on this backup creator blog. We can see in the list that we definitely don't have Jetpack, we don't have a security plugin, we don't have a caching plugin. So we're going to install all three of these plugins on just this one site for now. And if that works well, maybe we can go back and check some more boxes. Click on install plugins. And what does it do? It's going out to the backupcreator.com slash blog site where we have installed website remote, which allows you to remotely control and manage and update your WordPress site plugins and themes. So it's going to go out and just take a few seconds and install these three plugins for us and activate them as well. There we go. So we have some success. And so we can go and view the plugins that we've got that we're dealing with. And if we look at backup creator slash blog on the top here, and in fact, let's select the site that we it's highlighted for us in gray here, we can go uh, over on the side and whoops that's just out of date plugins let me view all plugins here so now if we go and check out the plugins we're looking for uh, the jetpack plugin is there up to date and activated the security plugin is there up to date and activated and then what was the other one we had like a caching kind of plugin um i'm actually not not sure so if we're not sure then we can just go and uh, go back to our dashboard and select the backup creator blog because I honestly forgot what the name of that uh, other caching plugin was. So we can just select this site and we can go and look on the list. Aha, W3 Total Cache was the, the final plugin that I honestly forgot that we had uh, in fact added. So cool, we just went and said those are the plugins I want to add. That's the site I want to add it to, or many sites. And even if we go back to this backup creator blog, remember how we said there's these eight plugins? Just to double check, uh, I can look at the list of plugins and we'll check it out here. We've got iTheme Security, we've got the caching plugin, and we've got the, uh, why do I always forget what the other one was? Jetpack. Cool. So, a couple things about that. We can go back to our list of plugins here. And I can say, well, you know what? I installed those, but I, I want to turn them off for now. So let me look at uh, all my plugins here. It sounds like a soap opera, all my plugins. And I want to turn off those couple of plugins, right? I want to turn off the Jetpack plugin just for now. Uh, at least it's there, and I can always turn it back on later, either in the site itself or remotely. Uh, I can turn off iThemes security once again. Uh, either in here I can just click on turn on or log in there remotely and then that W3 total cache if I can find it in the list here I can turn that off as well so in website remote and uh, so by the way let's say that I said okay so now um, now that's all taken care of 
but I need to log back in to maybe to back up creator blog. I don't know what password. No big deal with website remote. There's just one click login link. So even if you're logged out, uh, it will go ahead and log you back into your site in one click because you control that site using website remote. I can go back to my dashboard, look at my plugins again, and I can see here that iThemes, Jetpack, and W3 Total Cache are still there because I installed them remotely, but then I turned them off remotely using website remote. If I change my mind later, I can just select backup creator slash blog, and I can go and I can say, well, I want to turn Jetpack back on, click on turn on, and this way I don't have to log into my site, or this way if I want to do this on 10 or 20 sites, I could. And then I look at the plugins again, and if I look at this, then I can see Jetpack is turned back on because I did it remotely. If I change my mind for a third or fourth time, it can go again to Jetpack turn off. Now Jetpack's been turned off on that site. And if I go to the plugins again, then guess what? Jetpack has been turned off. So that's website remote, which is the way that you can get a one click dashboard heads up CEO kind of view of all of your sites all in one place. You can log into all of your sites update WordPress, update themes, update plugins, compare plugins across sites, and even add new plugins to these sites. And once you've added these plugins, you can remotely turn them on or off using Website Remote, the one-click WordPress plugin management tool. That's Website Remote. I'm Robert Plank from WebsiteRemote.com. Get it now and thank you.